Hello everybody, this is White Wolf, the Oracle of Love, Light, and Wisdom. We're all going to be going live and attending this live, so without further ado, this is White Wolf. Feel free to share out, feel free to donate. I'm going to put my PayPal link here. And we're also going to be understanding how to become unstoppable, how to not let anything stop us, how to not allow other things to come into our awareness that makes us want to stop what we want to become and to just become everything that you want and to point to be a pointer to know that you can touch everything and it can turn to gold and knowing that nothing is here to stop us the only thing that happens when we feel like we hit a breaking point or that we feel like we're stopped if we feel like we're in a rut or we feel like people are prohibiting us from going further the only thing that's prohibiting us from going further is our own denial of who we really are, of our own unwillingness to accept this cosmic abundance that is here, that is present, that is aligned, and to block out all the other stuff and to ignore it completely, and to realize that that is not what brings joy, happiness, and bliss, and makes you feel inspired. And when you feel unstoppable, you are absolutely empowered. Nothing can shake you. Nothing can throw you off of who you really are when you're unstoppable. But it's just knowing that when the proverbial shit hits the fan, how are you going to be? How are you going to react? How are you going to act about it? How are you going to go about it? How are you going to feel about it? And knowing that the true test, even if the whole world is collapsing all around us, that we can truthfully be in bliss. And that is the true testament is to be happy when everything in your circumstances tell you that you cannot be happy. To be unstoppable means that no matter what comes against you, no matter what comes at you, no matter what is thrown at you, no matter what adversity, a circumstance, a person just yelling in your face, whatever it may be, nothing can stop you unless you allow it to stop you. So feel free to share out, feel free to donate, and also my PayPal link is in the description below, one hour for $100, two hours for $200, and a discounted price for $75 for 45, I mean 45 minutes for $75. So, and you can also check me out on White Wolf, the Oracle of Bloodline Wisdom on YouTube and Facebook, White Wolf 4741 on Instagram, BitChute, White Wolf, the Oracle 23 underscore at symbol. Also understanding that you're unstoppable means that everything is possible, that there's nothing outside of the realm of possibility. So whatever you think is impossible is as absolutely possible. So what you think, or every time that you put an obstacle in the way of what you want, you're putting a doorstop in the way of what you want to open. So, but the doorstop is in the middle. It's not on the, on the side of the wall where the door generally stops. So instead of hitting a wall, instead of just doing shadow work all the time, instead of feeling into your unworthiness, tap into your worthiness. Be worthy of God's love. Be worthy of who you are. Be empowered to stand up for who you are. And also just know that you can absolutely be unstoppable if you want to at this given moment. You can stop everything and you can breathe and you can close your eyes so that you can see again and you can literally be born again even though that we're never born, we're never really here. We're not a body, we're not all of these things that we adopted and based in tradition and all these other things. But we are the divine, we are that source of creation. So nothing can stop that source of creation and now we're just able to set the precedence of what we really want. So set the precedence of what you want, set the precedence of what you are and confirm what you are and go by that moral compass that enlightened moral compass that you don't sway from who you really are or your desires or the actions that you take or the words that you say what you're speaking into your life becoming unstoppable is not a hard thing at all it's actually very easy it's actually not hard at all it's just all about aligning it and following through and just going with it and when you go with it you will become an unstoppable, immovable, incomprehensible source of creation. So every time that you don't allow yourself to be stopped or swayed or moved out of the way, 
or bothered or triggered or anything like that, you become truthfully unstoppable when you're able to know that you are made of money and that every time that you spend money, it gets reciprocated back, you become unstoppable. So every time that you choose to empower yourself instead of tapping into lack, you're unstoppable. Every time that you just stop wanting to being unstoppable, that allows you not to be stopped. So every time that you're done being led astray, being thrown off your game, being Focus on an identity crisis that is not resonating with who you are. And when you're resonating with them, that false identity crisis, that false self, Satan wears many disguises. So every time that we, every time that we get out of the realm of believing in our false self, in that shadow self, we allow ourselves to become someone else. We change with our gifting and we change and we grow and we emulate the light of the creator and we allow ourselves to stop doing the things that don't bring us joy. And as many times that you do something that really makes you feel inspired, love, creative, then stop doing the things that make you feel angry, despondent, or aggravated, or very just ominous and not feeling good and start doing the things that bring you that happiness, that sense of fulfillment. Your success is your happiness. So understanding that your success is based on how happy you wanna be, that is the true testament. It's the living testament to yourself because you're trying to become unstoppable. Empowering yourself is knowing yourself and to accepting yourself and to going with what you have, what is at your disposal and using it to the best of your ability. So as you allow yourself to not be swayed, to be unstoppable, to manifest your dream life into oneness, and when you allow yourself to understand that you're the focus that aligns the intention, that gives the attention before the appearance of the manifestation happens, and even before anything happens, you have to understand that you are before creation and after creation. After creation is the byproduct of what happened when you had profound sense of enlightened experiences, self-realization, actualization, empowerment. It could be many different things, subtracting things out of your life, making different decisions, actually going for it, taking a risk, doing something that scares you, but it scares you in a very good way, in a profound sense. So when we have a profound sense of death, because death is the transformation of the true self. It is truthfully bliss because every time someone has like a near death experience, they experience this sense of bliss and the light that they see, or if they want to go into that light, or if they want to stay here to do what they could not do without having that experience. Now I'm not talking about a literal death, but I'm talking about a metaphysical death of yourself, healing, understanding, the error of your ways every time that you have a human error if you will i heard this on a movie because they were making an algorithm with uh, marketing something and they had a glitch and they made a human error so every time that you see the error in your ways and how it doesn't feel good with the way that you're acting or the way that you're going about your life or the way that you don't align yourself with prosper prosperous energy and also just to be just taking like anything toxic out of your life. And it does not mean that you can't really be yourself. You're here to be yourself. You're here to imbibe who you are. You're here to flow with life and not to let life flow with you. So when you understand that you're not here to allow life pass you by and to let life live for you, you're living your life and showing up to your life as if you're meant to be there. So also, if you guys want in-depth psychic readings, healings, activation codes, downloads, um, feel free to donate, feel free to share out. My PayPal link is at the uh, top of the page here. Um, if you guys would like a reading, healing, activation. Um, also, 45 minutes for $75. Find me on YouTube, White Wolf Oracle, Love Line Wisdom. Instagram, White Wolf 4741. BitChute, White Wolf, the Oracle 23, underscore, at symbol. So it's all about just connecting to your oracle consciousness. 
It's allowing yourself to know that you have a council, that you know you have tools at your disposal, that you have ways of creating, and that there's always options and there's always opportunities out there and that there's never opportunities seeking to exist. It's just being able to accept it courageously because everything has already happened and will happen and everything has been created and you just have to accept the ability to really receive it and to know it for what it is. So, even the stuff that I'm saying, I'm learning myself as I'm saying it. I'm not just saying it so I can hear myself talk. I'm saying it to you, but I'm saying it to my divine self as well. But I'm channeling my divine self. So, the words that we speak, the actions that we make, the way that we choose to empower ourselves, the way that we try to relax, and even the way that we try to not allow energy to come into our energetic force field because you are the source code and you are an energetic force field of electromagnetic kinetic source energy. So if you're an electromagnetic kinetic source energy, this means that you're an impenetrable awareness. That means that you're unstoppable. But it always doesn't feel like that in the beginning. But once you just... Once you get the hang of it, you understand that it's not about just like this person said, I'm just talking blah, blah and getting money, which that's not the case, but it's not about just getting money. It's not about just realizing yourself. It's not about healing. It's not about um, just being of service to people, but it's just allowing yourself to accept that you can be blessed. It's accepting that you can become God, that you can become source, that you can become your own source of creation and that you can be happy all the time you can be in joy all the time you can be methodical and precise all the time but in the way that you create in the way that you can be precise now a lot of people a lot of people can be carpenters but that doesn't mean that they can be an architect so if you're a carpenter stick with that to the best of your ability most successful people are just good at one thing and they go with it so if you're a healer, try to heal to the best of your ability and share that gift and knowing that that gift will take you many different places. So willing to push yourself and willing to challenge yourself and willing to be truthfully insane, like some people will think that you're insane to feel that way, but you're the person who is drunk in front of a bunch of sober people because you understand the gift. You understand this enlightened state. It's a heightened state of awareness as if you were to take psychedelics in a sense. And it's a more heightened state and you're able to see with this euphoric feeling without having to take really anything. But you're allowing everything to be of a euphoric nature and you're allowing everything to be heightened and to be more expanded and to be more created and to be more fluffy and light and airy. And it's able to see through a lens of perception that cannot be mucked up or placed in mire or placed in anything. It's all about where you place your attention and place your awareness. So it doesn't matter what society says or what your parents say or your friends say or anyone else says the only person that stops us is our own beliefs is our own insanity is our own way of going about life and feeling like we have to fall back into a stale reality when we can just finally talk about how you can become truthful in your vibration So when you are able to see through the lies and see through the lines, and you're able to see through the way that we've been going about this human creation for so long, and it's a distorted way that the banks are, it's a distorted way that the way that we're taught in schools, because that's why a lot of people, when they're awakened, they get away from all that. They, they don't watch the news anymore because you're throwing more fuel to the fire. You're not allowing everybody to decide for themselves, to accept for themselves, to be true to themselves. So that's why a lot of people 
when we awaken, it's not just about your nutrition, but it's about being absolutely real to the fucking core because you allow yourself to see that spirituality is not about eating healthy. Spirituality is not about just saying om, just wearing a toga or feeling like you have to be in a monastery or anything, but it can be just you living out your journey and being who you are and and vibing yourself and being unique in your own divine way. I think that's what the key is, is that it doesn't have to look like how everybody else is doing it. It doesn't have to look how, and, and if you do eat healthy, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's your choice. But saying that you're more holy because you eat healthy is bias. So like when you're being so biased that, oh, I, I, I meditated under this tree for 30 years and I only ate plants and uh, the Dalai Lama anointed me and all that stuff. Well, maybe we don't have the Dalai Lama. Maybe we don't have that bonsai tree to sit under for 30 years, which who wants to fucking do that right? Nobody wants to fucking do that. You want to be accelerated. You want to be the particle accelerator. You want to accelerate all those particles which is sending out DNA codes and seeds and planting more seeds so that everybody can germinate and to expand upon their own soul family and their own soul tree so when you're expanding upon that you're expanding upon your own creation so being unstoppable means that whenever we're meditating that's what we're becoming we're becoming more endowed within the light of the spirit But you can just be yourself. You can do yoga, and that's all accepted. But don't make it a source of bias to where someone has to do that. And that's religion, and that's judgment. And that's a condemning spirit that's still in the spiritual community because we felt like all of these things that we've adopted, like mindfulness. You can be mindful all the time, but that doesn't mean that it's going to stop your trigger. It does not mean that it's going to stop you from just going back into shadow work or that it's just going to make you fall back into um, being distorted within your own relationships with yourself and also within your life to where you feel like everybody is an object in your awareness. But then you realize that I'm not attached to anything. Everything is just temporary and that there are no people, places, or things. There are no really things. There are just, it's just awareness. It's just truthfully understanding that you're not somebody's property and that nobody owns you. But the only thing that we really can know and understand and become and someone will someone say, dude, you're no Dalai Lama. Well, of course I'm not. Of course I'm not the Dalai Lama. But I'm White Wolf. That's my point. Then be you. I I don't care about your certifications. I don't care about how much money you make. I don't care how much things that you're doing. But show me the raw power of the infinite source of creation. Show me your truth. Show me your resonance. Show me your vibrancy. Show me your exponential growth. Show me who you are. Show me your spirit. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. People can say, oh, I have a Reiki master this and this and that. And I have this certification and I've done this. And that's all well and great. That's, That's wonderful. But at the end of the day, who are you really? What are you really? Are you just the I am? Are you just, I am present, I am here, I am alive, I am aware, I am the source of all things? And understanding that will alleviate everything that's trying to stop you or feeling like you have to be stopped. The only thing that stops us is our own mind, is our own dysfunction is our own distortions. And once we just release that and let go of it, then everything in our life begins to change. So a lot of people think that you can't live your life in a meditative state, which that is a lie. You can absolutely live your life in a meditative state right now. 
it's all just a choice. It's really just choosing that you can do that. Like we're about to do a meditation just now. So um, feel free to share out, feel free to donate. Um, and we're going to be doing a meditation on how we can be more unstoppable and how we can breathe into that energy and breathe into that vibrancy. Feel free to share out, feel free to donate. And also YouTube, White Wolf, the Oracle of Bloodline Wisdom. Instagram, White Wolf 4741. And BitChute, White Wolf, the Oracle 23 underscore at symbol. So. Allow yourself to breathe. Exhale. And what you're going to do with this meditation is that you're going to release doubt. You're going to release toxic energy. And you're just going to fully let go and understand that you can truly become unstoppable if you want to become unstoppable. Make that choice. Know that you have that choice. Know that you can be unstoppable if you want to be but you have to make that decision and that distinction and using clear discernment. That spirituality is not an explanation or a concept or something that you dream about, something that you use it as a hobby, but spirituality is your life. The seeking impulse is your lifeline. The search, the pursuit, the experiences, the journey, the love, the light, and the wisdom, and the glory of that oracle consciousness, rediscovering itself. Be that deep breath in. And be the exhalation out. And let's just take a moment to send love to the entire world. To know that we can rid ourselves of suffering. We can rid ourselves of victimhood. That we can rid ourselves of feeling small, inferior. Feeling like we are lacking of something. That we're not worthy. And we can tap into this worthiness and become worthwhile to truly just come to the terms of living life as if you're meant to be there. That you are not an object. People are not your objects. You don't own anything. You don't need to have a status. You don't need to have any of these things. And when we get rid of this neediness, then we realize that we can have everything that we want because we're letting go of the attachment of feeling like we really need it. And by releasing the doubt of suppressing our desires is going to allow you to live out your desires. It's going to allow you to pursue your desires. It's going to allow you to go for your desires, to take those desired risks. To not be afraid anymore because now we're debunking fear. So every time that you give yourself to fear or feeling like you need to feel into that vibration of fear, you can look that fear in the face and tell it that I am fate, that I am a warrior, that I determine what I want to become, and I don't let anything determine who I am.
and set the precedent for your creation. Set the precedent for who you are. Set the stage for your creation. Knowing that you are the generation of prophets. That you're the generators of experiences, of intentions, of quantum motion. That for the first time, we're not shoving anything under the rug, but we're allowing it to be right in the open. You're here to live, to laugh, to love, to dream, and to become. But forgive yourselves for being human. Every time that you were agitated towards yourself, every time you thought you couldn't have what you wanted, every time that you didn't understand the circumstance of reflection, and using the art of letting go will bring us closer to our divine blueprint to bring ourselves closer to God to bring ourselves closer to our creation Nothing within this state can affect that, can stop that. Where nobody's punching back, we're not the world's punching back, and nobody else's are punching back. And we owe it to the divine to walk in this obedience, in this truth, in this essence, in this blessing. to show others that it's possible. To show others that we're not here to give up. And don't give up on yourself and don't give up on God. when you give up on God, you're giving up on yourself. Put your faith in the source of all things, and it will never fail you. It will hold you in the safety and the security, and it will always guide you, and teach you, and nurture you, and bring you to a sense of holiness and wholeness 
and wellness. And when we anchor ourselves to this light, to becoming the oracle of love and wisdom is really just allowing ourselves to become the universe and be connected to the facets of the universe. Take one last deep breath. Exhale. When I snap my fingers, you'll come back too. You'll have a greater sense of clarity. You will know who you are. And you'll become the oracle of love and wisdom, which is God in human form. And so it is. I hope you all enjoyed that meditation. This is Y Wolf. I hope you really enjoyed this message. And also just know that you can book private sessions with me. Uh, healing energy, Akashic records, readings, activation codes, downloads. My PayPal link is in the comments section. Uh, feel free to share out one hour for $100, two hours for $200, and 45 minutes for $75. And also you can find me on YouTube, Y Wolf the Oracle. The, the White Wolf, the Oracle of Bloodline Wisdom on Facebook and YouTube, uh, Instagram, White Wolf 4741. Also, you can find me on TikTok as well. You see my TikTok. And BitChute, White Wolf, the Oracle 23 underscore at symbol. So just know that this message um, came to me about being unstoppable, being immovable, being incomprehensible. And being just that source of creation that cannot be distorted. And we're all moving past our distortions. We're all moving past our creation. And we're just allowing ourselves to grow exponentially. And being accelerated and not have to wait uh, 20 years or 30 years or 40 years or 50 years. So if you really want it, want it to the point where you will seek it to the point where you don't have to look for the excitement anymore. So thank you so much. Feel free to donate. Feel free to share out. Uh, this is why Wolf. God bless. Namaste. And until next time, this is why Wolf.